Uh, and I want to bring in now former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, who's watching all of this unfold tonight. And again, Newt, everybody on edge, uh, given what we remember from just May 31st last year after the George Floyd uh, death, and not too far, really seven or seven miles or so from uh, the pictures we're looking at tonight. Newt, your reaction to these pictures? Well, I mean, sooner or later, we're going to have to decide that we're not going to tolerate this kind of a... Basically, uh, everybody talks about the insurrection on January 6th. We've seen wave after wave of local insurrections where people explicitly reject the police, attack the police. In many ways, we have a war on cops uh, that nobody wants to really talk about. Uh, and we have a totally one-sided system right now. Sooner or later, the society will demand that we reestablish order, that we reestablish safety, and that we not tolerate people who think they have the right to go out and break the law and deliberately try to undermine what are the what in the end of the forces of order? Uh, you know, I think that a hundred police killed this year. I don't think a single one of them led to a riot, not one. Uh, but you have this system yeah, but... across the country, from Se from Seattle to Portland to to now back to Minneapolis, uh, of people prepared on the on, on any excuse to go out and basically break down the law. Well, this is a Marxist uprising, is it not, Newt? I mean, this is this is a classic <clears throat> chaos disinformation, propaganda, sure. vilification. This, we've seen this play out over history, across history. Uh, and this is sure. just one more example. It has nothing to do with compassion for the family of Dante Wright. It has everything to do with tearing down a system they think is, in, is systemically racist, unjust, uh, as a capitalist free market system. They want that gone. And if they can use the death of a, of a black man to do it, they're going to do it. And look, the fact is, in almost every case we're talking about, it is poor African Americans, poor Latinos, people who are poor whites, for that matter, people who are in neighborhoods where they get preyed upon by criminals. So breaking down the forces of order actually increases the danger to the poorest Americans in a disproportionately a racial way. We had one Democratic congresswoman yesterday call for the end of policing the end of incarceration. Now, I want you to think about the level of madness that this suggests. We already have a dramatic increase in murder rates across the country. We're having a greater increase in, in theft. We just had Walgreens announce that they were closing every one of their 10 drugstores in uh, San Francisco because they can't cope with the scale of theft that is now permitted in San Francisco. So you're watching the decay of the entire civilization as the forces that hate it use every possible excuse, and we let them get away with it. You have, you have video cameras nowadays. You have an ability to film every single person who's there tonight, go out and pick them up, arrest them, uh, in some cases put them in jail, in other cases just charge them a very steep fine. Uh, make it too expensive to go out and attack the police. Uh, you just saw in New York, by the way, a totally un, uh, unprovoked attack on a police car by a group, group of thugs uh, who wanted to actually to, uh, beat up the police if they could have gotten into the car. Well, Newt, we've had escalating attacks against police officers across the country. We've had ambushes of police officers, uh, young, especially African-American males, uh, being told over and over again that they're hated by police, even African-American uh, police officers are having to deal with uh, people who come an inch away from their face, scream, spit every expletive in their face. Uh, who would want to be a police officer in an environment, and especially a blue state, where you let uh, criminals run wild with intermittent arrests, and then they're just released and they're back on the street the next day? Well. You know, as you pointed out, we've seen this before. In the 1970s, as the forces of law collapsed, uh, it led to a whole series of movies, like the Clint Eastwood series with Dirty Harry, in which basically vigilantism came back into being because people just wouldn't tolerate the level of fear, uh, the level of threat uh, that was happening around them. And this is what people need to understand. If the, if the police collapse as a system, you're going to have a genuine fight 
between people who are protecting their property, people who are protecting their lives, and those who are the forces of violence, of criminality, uh, and who want to dominate by force. Uh, this is a very dangerous period. We've been here at least three times since World War II in the 70s, uh, where it ultimately culminated uh, in, in massive problems. Uh, again, I think you have it going on right now. There's no reason this has to be happening, and there's no excuse for it to happen. We need the rule of law. If a policeman does something wrong, it ought to be investigated. They ought to be tried. And this is the great irony about tonight in Minneapolis or in Minnesota. You have a trial underway of a policeman who is being accused of killing a person. So the system is working. Uh, at this very moment, you now have a whole new cycle where people say, I'll go out in the streets. And as you point out, it rapidly deteriorates and begins to be trash the local store, which is very often minority owned. Uh, it begins to be burn things down. Uh, and the, we do not have to tolerate this as a society, but we have to have the courage to stand up and say, this is wrong. And people who engage in it are either going to go to jail or face very, very severe fines. Yeah, I don't think these mayors in these uh, in these blue states have any credibility. They look like they've been way soft on this. They're empathizing with criminals and instantly thinking the worst of most police officers. And so the police officers, they're not going to lose their their livelihood, lose their pension. Uh, for uh, at some point, they're going to decide for what, Newt. I'm going to put my stick my neck out there when I could be sued for everything I have. In some cases, there's qualified immunity, but. They could they could lose their into everything they work for, uh, and then they're thought sure. of in the worst possible can... light as as criminals are coddled. That's what it's just. I, I can't That's even right. believe what well, I'm saying. I love Minneapolis. I love Minnesota. It's a wonderful state. This is just disgusting tonight. It's disgusting. They're making an announcement but, but right now. But, apparently, but, Newt. Uh, what is the announcement? You want me to step out of the shot? Yeah, they're going to start arresting people. 